Hey Internet! Uh, welcome to another vlog from Hammerspace and <sighs> this has been a very interesting week for me. This year has started off better than the last 20 years combined and partly because well let me get into a bit of detail first I am a very very passionate individual the idea and the world and the craft of creating characters and creating art and creating something that affects people uh, emotionally at the emotional level that's an incredible that's just incredible in general as far I consider myself to be one of those eccentric artists one of those uh, people that really take their stuff seriously and part of the reason why is because it's just had that had that effect on me. It's developed the way that I think, it's developed the way that I grow. And as far as passion goes, I'm one of those people that does not see a reason to hold back. I don't see a reason to uh I don't see a reason to you know, think the worst of things. I don't see a reason to uh not give it 110%. And it all goes back to my view on art, on being able to create characters. And in some ways my passion has been an advantage, advantage for me because it's allowed me to look at it in, in so many different, warm, different forms just to get it right. Uh, and at the same time, it's also been a bit of a... It's been a double-edged sword, to say the least. And that's because, at the same time, as much as I love art, I absolutely love the ability to create people that will make people laugh and people that will make people, you know, see an entirely new different way of looking at things, people that are able to inspire others and just make an impact. I, I, I love that. I've always felt... You know what, this isn't as polished as I wanted it to be, but that's kind of my point. What I'm trying to say is there's always been a there's always been a passion side of things and there's always been a fear like side of things. And I love art so much. I just have to laugh. I have to laugh because I went into this absolutely just off the seat of my pants and that was my point but I'm not gonna erase this. I am not going to erase this. I'm not gonna edit this either. When I was smaller, when I was a little boy, right? And this is to give you an idea of exactly how I've developed and how it's had an impact on me. This is just so frustrating. It really is. I don't want this to be perfect. It's against everything that I've done for the last 20 years but I don't want this to be perfect because I got some advice and that's part of the reason why this vlog is, is a little less organized than the last vlog. I got some advice and that advice was to calm down. And it seems innocuous. It seems just like another suggestion. And trust me, I've lived long enough for people to tell me, hey, you're a little bit too passionate. You're a little bit too much energy there, son. Just, you know, calm down. But every time people tell me to calm down, it's it goes through the workings in my head. And it goes through my brain. And it goes through all these little factors of, you know what? 
what's the consequence of me calming down? The whole reason why I'm putting so much energy and passion to something is because I want to show exactly how much respect I have for the craft. I want to show admiration for it. I want to build it up. I want to contribute to it because it's had such an effect on me. Effect on me. I want to thank it. So the con. The, the suggestion to calm down has always been so crazy to me. It's always been, it's like telling me to stop caring. And that's the way it's always, you know, been viewed in my head. But I was told to calm down by a very wise and incredibly talented individual. And for some reason, it didn't filter through my brain this time. It went directly into... It went, it, there. Okay, that was awkward, but it's, it's just that I was able to see it in a completely different light now. And I'll give you, I'll give you a little heads up to what kind of person I, I was before this. When I was about five years old. Some of my earliest memories include, uh, I had toys, I had action figures, I had dozens of them. I didn't have, you know, friends and family to play with around my own age, but I had dozens and dozens and dozens of action figures and toys and, you know, all sorts of things, right? You know, I had a little He-Man sword too that I used to play with. Oh, oh, I had a lot of fun with that. But anyway, I had all these different toys. And even at five years old, I want you to imagine a fucking five-year-old doing this. I had dozens of toys, I had all the staples, I had Superman, I had Batman, Spider-Man, you name them, I had them, right? And imagine dozens, if not hundreds of them, and not any of them having their original parts. I used to mix and match them and create my own characters. I never liked having things pre, uh, pre-conceived or whatever, right? And when I would play with them, I would play, play with them on my own, right? And before I even started, this is me at five years old, I would have to develop a full storyline. I would have to de develop a, an entire character profile. I would have to develop uh, rivalries and plot twists and, and cliffhangers and all sorts of incredibly advanced things for a five-year-old to, to even conceive. I would have to develop uh, different powers and different uh, nuances to how the characters relate to each other. Five fucking years old. I remember some of my earliest memories were setting everything up and I would take anywhere between three to five hours setting everything up completely. Five years old. And that five year old is developed into the person that I am, to, that I am today. And I realized that I'm 24 years old now. It's almost it's been almost 20 years and I'm supposed to play with toys. I'm supposed to just play. I'm supposed to just have fun. I'm just supposed to you know, just lay, you know, let the chips fall where they may. Have fun. And I do have fun. It's just that it's bogged down by all this fear of not being good enough of of somehow having my uh, lack of knowledge, you know, insult what I, the art that I care so much about. I really do, and I. That's what this vlog is trying to get across. All this time, I've been, I had this intention of contributing my absolute best contributing you know the 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 absolute pinnacle of my ability to the craft that I again that I just love so much and after all this time I realized that I could have just been playing with my toys the entire time I could have just been having fun because the craft doesn't need me to support it it's well enough on its own I'm allowed to make mistakes I'm allowed to Get in front of the camera and just shoot the shit with you fans without having an entire, you know, episode pre-planned. And that's what this is about. I want to show that I am able to change after all these years. I'm, I, I'm able to 
take that suggestion to calm down and take it to heart. That's why I look the way that I do. I mean, it it it's actually it actually hit at a very convenient time because what I had planned to do for this vlog was uh, it was something that would have required a tiny bit of rehearsal. And it's not because it's something that's scripted. It's not because it's something that's staged for you guys. It's just because it's something that, you know, it's something that sometimes my mind, right? Sometimes my mind is a lot faster than my mouth and I don't want to flub the lines once I get into it. Hopefully I'll have time later on. You know what? Nobody's even watching this, right? I mean, I'm still a nobody. Right now I'm just talking to one person, but that... Yeah... Where was I? I look the way that I do because I understand that I don't have to be perfect. I don't have to throw so much energy into something. And if I throw that much energy and I fail, then it's okay. It's not the end of the world. I'm not insulting anybody. I'm not... I'm not... I have a horse tail. And that's... I didn't shave either. Those are just the show that I, I can just relax. It's it's gonna take me a little bit of time, but I know that I can do it if I just put energy in the relaxing. I guess. But I had this horse tail, and it's, it's 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 a thank you. That's really what it is. I've never done this before. I've never been able to do this in my life. I don't even know if I did this one correctly. But in any case, it is a thank you. And this whole prologue has been it's been a bit of a mess, hasn't it? It's been a bit of a mess. But I'm not going to erase it. I'm going to put it out there even though it's not the absolute best. I could have in the in the beginning I could have edited this whole thing out. I could have just stopped the tape and just started over, but I'm going to keep it because I want to just have fun and take it easy and I want to I'll just I'm happy I'm just extremely happy right now and I promise that later on I'll, I'll be able to balance this out a bit more but there's always been a double-sided sword to my to my enthusiasm I've loved it so much that I that I'm able to give it hundred and ten percent without ha without having to hold anything back but at the same time there's always this fear that I'm not able to reach my capabilities and do and in so doing uh, insulting and having the opposite effect of what I want and I don't want I don't want to disrespect the crap because it's been such an impact and